So today I'm going to show you a little booty band glute and lower body workout. So you want to place your band just right above your knees, lower part of the thigh. And we'll start on our sides here. So for the first exercise, you want to be at zero degrees. So you don't want your knees pulled in. You want to pull them back so that they line up with your hips. And what we're going to start off by doing, especially if you're pregnant, is focusing on exhaling as you lift your knee. Okay? So you want to engage that core and pelvic floor all while targeting the glutes. So we're going to start by inhaling through the nose, drawing in and up, lifting the knee. Inhale, relax. Exhale, lift. recommend doing about 10 to 15 reps here. All right, then you're going to pull the knees in and you're going to keep your ankles glued. Same thing. Inhale to relax everything. Exhale, draw in and up. This doesn't only engage your deep glute muscles, it also engages your deep core if you allow it to. So focusing on that exhale as you lift the knee each and every time. Should be starting to feel a nice little booty burn here. We're gonna go for three, two, one. Now you'd usually do the other side, but I'm gonna continue on through the workout. Next movement on your backs. This is safe during pregnancy. However, it's really how you feel. So if you're in the third trimester and laying on your back isn't comfortable, that's okay. Um, you can, I'm gonna show you an option for this one after. So first things first, no big arch in your back, no space here. You don't need to flatten your back, but you do want to think about exhaling as you lift. So drawing in and up again through the core. Inhale, relax. Exhale. Draw in and up. And we want to keep some tension on the band here. So don't let the knees cave in. And as you exhale, drawing in and up, you're going to squeeze those glutes as well. So pushing through the heels contracting the bum muscles as you lift and squeeze here. And then for a nice little finisher, you can either hold it at the top. Again, making sure there's no arch in your back. If you're feeling yucky in your lower back, you might want to just make sure your spine is neutral. Tuck those hips forward a little bit. Keep squeezing the bum the whole entire time here. I'm going to show you one more little finisher on this movement, and that's your abduction. So you're going to hold and squeeze, and you're going to exhale, open up the knees, open, close, open, close. That's going to give you a nice burn right here in the side of the bum for five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right. Now, rolling to the side to come up, avoiding sit-ups if you're pregnant. So now... The option, instead of doing this laying on your back, you can also do it in addition, <laughs> like I'm going to do here, but is doing it from a kneeling position. So you're sitting back onto your heels, so you're inhaling to relax, exhale, in and up, squeeze the glutes. Everything working together here. So just imagine that navel drawing in and up towards your chest as you thrust the hips up, squeezing the glute. Two more here. All right, now we're going to go into standing position for the last few exercises. And do a good old fashioned squat. All right, so you want to make sure that you are hip width apart. So I'm going to show you from a side angle here. And the movement starts off with a hinge, so kind of like a, a deadlift. And you're going to be inhaling to relax on the way down. Exhale as you come all the way up. 
Inhale, relax. Get back into that imaginary chair. So we want to avoid the knees caving in, tension on the band. Squeeze, exhale as you stand. Drawing everything in and up. So you want to start that glute squeeze at the bottom. Bring it all the way up to the top. Inhale, relax everything. Exhale, squeeze at the top. All the way up to the top. Don't forget that core. So drawing the navel in and up. Pretend you're sucking up a grape or something from the vagina here. To engage the pelvic floor and the core together. All right. Now, last but not least, little glute burn. We're gonna do some kickbacks. So hands on the hips. Inhale, relax. Exhale as you kick back. We're gonna alternate sides for this one or you can do it all on one side for a little more of a burn. I'm gonna keep alternating. <laughs> looking good, looking good, big burn. Now, if you wanna make this one a little bit harder, I'm gonna place the band about mid shin here and we're gonna kick back so making sure the hips are square and you're exhaling drawing in and up as you kick back squeezing the booty ten more There you have it, your booty band glute workout.